History has shown that knowledge is not always free and accessible. Entertainment is not always free and open and accessible. In a previous video, I showed you guys how to back up works from archive of our own in bulk in the event that that website becomes age verification restricted or it becomes restricted in your country as many websites are beginning to become now. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to back up the entirety of Wikipedia. I think that it's important for us to preserve knowledge. I would, if I could snap my fingers, I would get everyone to have a local copy of Wikipedia on their computer. So if you're like me and you wanna preserve knowledge and download Wikipedia, in this uh, era that we're entering of a different landscape and a different way of interacting with the internet where things could possibly be restricted depending on your age or your demographic or your uh, identity. There's this website called Kiwix and this website provides dumps of Wikipedia. So uh, like I just showed you, you go up here, you click hover over downloads, go to library. The website is kiwix.org. And you go here and you search Wikipedia. Now, there's going to be a lot of versions of Wikipedia you can download. We're going to download the 46.38 gigabyte version. This is the version of Wikipedia only in English. Um, and I believe without pictures. There is another version of Wikipedia, if you scroll down a little bit further, that's 109 gigabytes. Um, I believe it's also Wikipedia in English, but it contains all of the images that Wikipedia already has. So that's why you see the doubling of the size here. But I didn't care about the images just for the purpose of preserving knowledge and my access to what was on Wikipedia at this moment in time. I wanted the 46 gigabyte version without images. So you click that and you download it and it will download to your computer. I've already done that. Now you can download a dump of Wikipedia from the Wikipedia uh, website itself, except that version will be a database dump and you'll need some way to traverse that database and it's just not user friendly. What Kiwix does is they provide this dump of Wikipedia and an application to actually view it offline. You don't need any internet access for this. I downloaded the FlatHub version for Linux and you open it up here. And once you download uh, this 40 some gigabyte version, you click this little folder icon up in the top right and you open up uh, Wikipedia. I did that off screen so you guys can see my uh, file structure. But here it is. I've just downloaded Wikipedia. You can search for something here. I'll search for kittens. Uh, yeah, so I've landed on the kitten Wikipedia page. Uh, kitten is a juvenile cat. So this is all offline. I could turn off my internet right now and this would just work. It's not a browser, a web browser. It's just uh, an interface to view that file of Wikipedia that you just downloaded. So this can be done in a single day uh, with even slow or moderately slow internet speed. You can download that file and have Wikipedia to yourself. So in the event that Wikipedia starts shutting off its access to certain countries, um, rather than comply with the ID verification uh, standards that are being implemented, you can still have access to the information that you need um, on a daily basis.